scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. I, I drag Colin. I love him, by the way. This gentleman is amazing. Hallelujah. And... Um, Tonight is a miracle service. The Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so I've not heard any South African song since I came. And so I've told Colin he's going to sing Amazulu. Remember that song? All right, so get a mic and take two, three minutes out of my time and let's worship the king as we allow his glory to invade this place very quickly. Lift your hands and bless the Lord. There are so many people inside, outside. Just lift your hands to the God of heaven and open up your heart even as we receive tonight.
Hallelujah. Can you borrow me that thing you are lifting, that South African? Come. Hallelujah. No, no, I have I have to bless her for holding this. Come. No, I'm going to use it so I my man is just to pray for you and bless you. In the name of Jesus, grace for you supernatural grace for you. So you give me this, huh? Borrow me and I will. Hallelujah! Only Hallelujah. So Mrs. Speaker, I'm an affiliate a South African member. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you are ready tonight? Listen, let me tell you something about the presence of God. God will never call a people 
and bring them together and then leave them disappointed. No. The Bible says that he has not called the seed of Jacob. When I came in, I'm aware that there are thousands of people outside, you know, all of the overflows filled and people even standing outside. I was so touched. Thousands others following from across the globe. Tonight is your night in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. I like for your heart to be opened. This is my final session with you. And tonight there will be very strange impartations. There are people who are going to carry mantles and graces. Hallelujah. And tonight we trust the healing power of Jesus to fall like rain upon this place. Hallelujah. Now, it's going to be a very quick one because there are so many things we have to do within the limited time. And let me just announce to you in advance that when, when I do ask that you bring those under the anointing out, please ushers, may I please request that in bringing them out, just um, let me request from where Apostle is to where um, Reverend Ike is or where Doctor is. You may just want to limit that place so that we don't uh, mess up the front. You can use all of these places. There's a reason why I ask that they bring, not now, I'm just giving you all of these announcements. Hallelujah. And then number two, when I pray for the sick, the power of God is going to fall in this place and we're going to take a few testimonies. Hallelujah. And so the moment the power of God touches you and you are asked to come, whether you are inside or outside, now for those outside, if you've been healed, you've been touched and you want to testify, don't just run. That's why I'm announcing this. Just wave your hands, let the officials know and very decently they will allow you to come and testify and then return back. Are we together? Praise the name of the Lord. And then number three, how many of you are here already with your prayer request? How many of you are still yet to write? How many of you wrote a few things but you were afraid of writing others? <laughs> ah. So, Whilst, whilst I charge our hearts, I want you to do well to write. Those who are following online from whatever nation, America, Europe, here in Africa, do well. You can, you can send in your prayer request. I'm going to collate everything and we're going to be praying here. Listen, I told you yesterday and I repeat it today that the Egyptians that you have seen, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, you will see them no more forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, so please be seated for a few minutes. God bless you, Apostle Felix. Thank you again and your lovely wife. Thank you. Thank you. First Chronicles chapter 4, please. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence fills this room. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence fills this room. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. I'd like you to be very, very sensitive tonight very very sensitive tonight hallelujah the 
second chronicles 4 verse 9 Do you have that down? The Bible says, 1 Chronicles 4 verse 9, it says, And Jabez, listen carefully, was more honorable than his brethren. It's interesting that in expressing this story, the Bible starts from the end to the beginning. It tells us the end, that regardless what you are about to hear, the long and short of it, is that in the end of everything, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Then the story begins. It says his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him in sorrow. Are we together? Verse 10. I like this. And Jabez called upon the God of Israel, Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Jabez called upon the God of Israel saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast, that thy hand may be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that request. Now listen very carefully. The Bible talks about a very interesting gentleman called Jabez. That at the end of the story, Jabez became more honorable. Honorable than his brethren. But that was not always his case. The Bible says this man's predicament started right from birth. It was not like it was something that happened at a point in his life. The word Jabez means from the Hebrew, the Hebrew expression. It means to make sorrowful. He causes pain. That is the meaning of Jabez. This baby was not responsible for the mother's pain. Was even unaware. But simply because a woman went through pain in childbirth. Out of her anger and pain. She named the child Jabez. And you would think that it was just an identity given to him, maybe a name, a means of identification, but it placed a mark of limitation upon the life of Jabez. When Jabez grew up, he found out that certain possibilities were not captured in his life. He found out that his life was marred with a plethora of limitations. And one day, Jabez made up his mind that things would have to change. May tonight be your one day. The day you get angry and say, things cannot continue this way. Hmm. Are we together now? And the Bible says, Jabez called on the God of Israel and said four things. Number one, oh that thou wouldest bless me listen carefully why did Jab that was the first prayer in in desiring to get out of that life of sorrow and pain and mediocrity and defeat Jabez's first prayer point was not God give me his first prayer point was that thou wouldest bless me that means he knew that it was the absence of the blessing upon his life. Something about the speakings of his mother over his life did not allow that climate of the blessing to be at work in him. Pay attention please. In Genesis chapter 12 from verse 2 and 3, 
God calls Abraham an idol worshiper who was from Ur of the Chaldeans. And then the Bible tells us in verse 2, we're reading 2 and 3, Genesis 12. I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee and make thy name great. Hallelujah. When your name becomes great, that is honor. Thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3. It says, I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. In Genesis 25, for the sake of time, give us verse 5 and 6. I found this scripture many years ago and it changed my life. This was Abraham. Hallelujah. Listen carefully now. Verse 5. The Bible says, Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. What did he give Isaac? All that he had. And we never see any material possession given to him. There was nothing physical that Isaac collected. Yet the Bible says, Abraham gave him everything. Verse 6. But to the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, he gave, what did he give? Gifts. Hmm. He gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac. There was something while he was giving physical gifts. I'm sure Isaac felt bad and said, what is the need for me? And he said, son, you don't worry. There's something I want to give you. All of these things came because of what I'm about to give you. And he gave Isaac what we call the blessing no physical substance but then the Bible now tells us that because of what Isaac carried he sowed in that same land Genesis 26 are we together now from verse 12 and the Bible says 26 and verse 12 that he sowed in that land and that he received that same year he did not receive just because the soil was good. He received because what made Abraham was what he was given to him. Help that man please. He sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. 13. Verse 13. He says and the Lord blessed him. And the man Wax great. Another version says he began to prosper. That means there was a day he did not prosper. He works great and did what? Prophesied. This is a prophetic word for you. And the man works great. And house of treasures went forward and grew until it became very great. Hallelujah. So, Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I know what happens to a man who carries and embodies the blessing of God. Now, there's what the Bible calls the blessing of Abraham. That is justification by faith. There is what the Bible calls the blessing. Then there is what the Bible calls blessings. They are not the same. The blessing of Abraham is justification by faith. That ushers you to receive the blessing. The blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that comes upon an individual through the ministry of the spoken word and activates a climate of possibilities around your life. Compelling your life to be a reflection of the Garden of Eden. The blessing. The blessing has an assignment to insist until everything changes in your life and to look like heaven. Are we together? I'm, I'm showing you because this is a miracle service. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But my goodness, everyone needs to go forward. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. To bless means to empower. Empower with a factor that does not reside within that territory. To be empowered from above. That empowerment is what compels you to prosper. 
The word prosper means to do well. It means to excel. It means to surpass ordinary standards. Four prayer points. Jabez prayed. Prayer point number one. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Isaiah 65 and verse 8. The blessing provides a very mysterious immunity. Listen carefully. The blessing in the character of the blessing among the many things that it provides. The blessing provides immunity against the vicissitudes of life. He said, thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. Why? For a blessing is in it. Destroy it not. For a blessing is in it. Curse it not. For a blessing is in it. Deplete it not. For there is a blessing in it. The character of the blessing is that it insists that there is no depletion in your life. You have to believe this because this is what is coming upon you. Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Prayer point number two. He says, enlarge my coast. The word coast there means border. Enlarge my coast. Psalm 71 and verse 21. Three years ago during my birthday, the Lord gave me this as a prophetic word. And it shifted my life to another dimension. 71, 21. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. It is one thing to be great, but it is another thing for your greatness to be increased. Being great alone is noble. But even among the great, there are those with increased greatness. It says, thou shall increase my greatness. Are you understanding the implication of Jabez's prayer? Remember, four things he prayed to become more honorable than his brethren. So don't just say God just, uh -uh. we need to know what and what and what and what did God add to his life that turned him into a man more honorable than his brethren. Number one was he prayed that the blessing would rest upon him. Number two, he prayed for enlargement. So there is a grace that causes an individual to not be small. That when that grace comes upon you, five loaves and two fish can expand and feed 5,000. Enlarge my coast. Someone prophesied, enlarge my coast. Oh, enlarge my coast. Spiritually, there are dimensions I need to step into. Enlarge my ministry, man of God. Enlarge my business. Enlarge my influence. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Prayer point number three. That your hand, we're still looking at First Chronicles 4. That your hand will be upon me. Do you know the meaning of that? Your hand will be upon me. The right hand of God is power. Every time a man prays that the hand of God comes upon him, he's talking about the strengthening of God. The ability of God. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. The word Christ is the Greek word Christos. Number one, it means the anointed one. But number two, it also means the anointing that he brings. I can do all things. It is not by my power. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance. They did not just advance. They were influenced by a force to go forward. Prayer point number three. Now, you need to know the man praying this prayer. This guy praying this prayer was a man with nothing noble around his life. A man who was an, an, an embodiment and an epitome 
epitome of every kind of disadvantage you can think about. And the man said, I, I know that there is something I can do with God and find my way out. Number one, that thou wouldest bless me. Number two, enlarge my coast. Number three, let your hand be upon me. In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he says, now unto him, hallelujah, now unto him that is able, ex, is, where's the scripture? Unto him that is able to do. There are people who are able to say, but they are not able to do. Listen, Bible faith is predicated on two qualities of God. Bible faith is founded on two qualities of God. Number one, his integrity. God is not a man that he should lie. He became a man, but he is not a man. Are we together now? Yes. That means when God says it, he means it. That is integrity. If God were not a God of integrity, it would be dangerous for us to trust him. Are we together now? But the second quality upon which Bible faith is built upon is called his ability. There are people who have integrity. They just do not have the wherewithal. Are we together? So the Bible here says God does not just have integrity. He is able. He is able. There are people who are able to say, I promise that if God opens a door, I will help you. They, they mean to help you, except that they are incapacitated. That means before God speaks, he vets whether it is within his power to bring it to pass. Anything God says is because his power can sponsor it. So if he says, I will lift you, it means within that word is the power to insist that you do not remain down. You understand the scripture now? It says, God now unto him, the him being the God of heaven, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. What kind of God is this? Do you know how powerful the imagination is? The imagination of man scientifically and spiritually is infinite in conceiving possibilities. This is where both science and religion agree that there is no limit to how much a man can stretch his imagination. It was Genesis 11 when Nimrod, Nimrod Kush mobilized the people and they came to build a city whose top will reach the heavens and the bible says the people is one and this they begin to do and now nothing will stop them which they have imagined to do and yet the lord is saying i dare your imagination let it stretch to its limit it is still within the jurisdiction of my power that's your hand the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. The hand of the Lord is the factor that is responsible for speed. Listen, there are two ways God restores time. Listen carefully. There are two ways God restores time. Or God redeems time. Number one is restoration. What is restoration? Restoration means to bring to your current experience that which you lost. Then another way he redeems time is to give you speed. Speed is dominion over time. So that your results no longer work based on the sequence of process. You have an advantage over time. Are we together now? Is someone learning now? Restoration. Let me have two people. I want to use you for, to just make an example. Two well-dressed gentlemen. Make sure you are well-dressed. Come. Now, both of you stand here facing this side. Well, this man is already, we already have two people. God bless you, eh? What do we do with two of you now? Yeah. All right, so watch this. Let's assume these guys were born on the same day. Now, you pay attention because you're going to walk slowly. Are we together? Born on the same day with the same kind of experience in South Africa. Start walking slowly. Start walking slowly. Keep moving. 
What is happening to this man? It's called delay. Don't rush. Just keep walking. So, hold on where you are. Now, this guy is supposed to have been here. But something has stopped him. Hold on now. Now, time did not stop for him. Time kept moving. He's the only one who stopped. Are we together now? Watch this. You just turn. Watch this. Now, when I... No, no, no. Don't move, sir. Just stay where you are. Right? Just turn and face those ladies. Now, if I say move, just move as slow as you can. Watch this. Even if the obstacle were taken away, now all of you move, including you. He still has not gained time. This is progress, not restoration. Stop where you are. Let me tell you what restoration is. When God says, I will restore. Watch this. Now, I hope you know that time has gone. He will never ordinarily be able to gain time. This is what God does. And I will restore the years. That means when you look at the equation of this man's life, you will never find where that gap was created. What happened? I know that 10 years of your life you did not have a job. So if you had a job now, you shouldn't be a millionaire by a job in one year. But when God restores, this is what is happening to someone tonight. Because for someone, you are like Jabez. Come back, gentlemen. Very quickly, come. There are families in South Africa. There are businesses in South Africa. You started. Let's go. Let's go. And demonic forces stopped you. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ten years. Some of you, five years. Now, even if you move, it's progress. You don't have all the time. My God will lift you. My God will lift you. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. When he says, I will restore, it's more than moving you forward. I will do something to time. I can take 10 years and put it in one year. There are people by December, you will look at your life and it will look as though you started 20 years ago. What happened to you? By December, a new level of the anointing, a new level of influence and increase. Do you believe this? My God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you here's the word tonight don't give up on God there's no plan B come on South Africa he's a Hallelujah. Ah, my spirit is fired up this night. For someone, I don't care what family you came from. Hallelujah. Like Jabez, they may have concluded about you. But in the name of Jesus, while others are walking, you will be running. While others are running, you will be flying. Even by the spirit of God. Listen, it was by this principle that some of us came on board. If it were based on our background, if it was based on the vetting of men, we will still be far behind. But there is a God that gives speed. He can move you by the hand of the Spirit. Ah, 
As someone move forward, move forward prophetically. Speed, speed. No, 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 no. I'm not saying come here. I'm just saying prophetically. Speed, speed, speed. I refuse stagnation. I reject stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to your seat. This is what is already happening to you. You need to be able to defend your results with knowledge. When people ask you, How come you have accelerated so far? It is the grace of God, but that dimension of grace is called speed. Speed. Hallelujah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. What do you do? Um, I'm a minister. Say, but I'm not to get the profession. You're a man of God yes, with a church? No, not yet. I'm still learning. You're still learning? Yes, sir. It's good that you are patient. How about you? I, yes, um, I, I have um, a church. Kingdom Prince. You have a church. You love Jesus? Yes. Because you need to ask any man, including a pastor, whether you love Jesus. That's what I care about first. Not are you doing ministry? Do you love Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I pray for you. May God grant you grace. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will go from glory. Oh dear. Please. In the name of Jesus, let it be a new season for you. And a new season for you. In Jesus' name. Where's the other man who I used? Just to speak a word over his life. There were three. Where are you? Come. What do you do? What do you do, sir? You're a businessman and a pastor. You believe in increase? New levels? grace for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now let's let's hurry up because this place is about to be set on fire ah Apostle Felix your church is about to be set on fire that your hand will be upon me when the hand of God came on upon Elijah the Bible says he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel the strength of God when the hand of the Lord came upon Samson he used a the jawbone of a donkey and defeated 3,000 Philistines there is no limit to what can happen when the hand of God is upon you. Prayer point number four. This is very important because you see, listen carefully, the prayer of Jabez now. When the blessing is upon you, listen carefully. And when your tent is enlarged, when the hand of God now comes upon you, it is natural for attacks. It is natural for envy. It is natural for jealousy. It is natural for people to pray and bite their fingers and hope that something wrong happens to you. Jabez was wise. I don't know who mentored him, but kudos to that person. Because Jabez prayed the last prayer point, he says, and that thou wouldest, it may not grieve me. When you read Amplified, it says, keep me from evil so that it would not have the power to hurt me. He's not talking about the coming of evil. He's talking about the dominion of evil over him. Because there are people who have risen. They once rose and then went down. It is tragic to once be on top. It is tragic to once be great. It is tragic to once be anointed. Your life can be an inspiration or a warning. That people can use your life and say, beware. This man of God was once up. This businessman was once up. This family was once up. No, I reject Ichabod from your life. Yeah. Hear me? Many years ago when we started, God respectfully 
with any sense of sarcasm. There were people who did not patiently wait to understand how to master dominion over evil and the onslaught of darkness. They just began to run and the devil allowed them to go so high and today they are nowhere to be found. In ministry and in business, Jabez was wise. It is dangerous to end your prayer without the full prayer point. Jesus how to pray. He said, lead us not into temptation. There are certain temptations that are not your business if you are poor. Let me be honest with you. Are we together now? It takes resources, capacity, influence, and exposure to go through certain temptations. If you're a poor man, even if you look at a lady, chances are your situation has already shielded you from any possibility. There's nothing, I mean, that, that the reality of where you are, you wouldn't embarrass yourself further. You would just wish and hope and ask God for forgiveness there. But when you have capacity, hmm, yes sir, when you have capacity, there are many people whose lives were all right until the blessing spoke. They didn't have the stamina to manage the temptations that come at certain realms. By the time you are a businessman at a global scale, you will have to be connected by people who do not share your spiritual convictions and yet you need them together to work within the marketplace. It takes this, the answer to this prayer, to keep you. Otherwise, the Bible talks about Solomon, a man who saw the manifested presence of God twice in his life. He got to a point, theology tells us that he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes as a fallen man. He said, everything my eyes saw, I desired. What a man. And the Bible says the Egyptian women made him do so. That means it was not a training that he got from his father. But influence gave him capacity to talk with other people. There are people who started well with God. But by the time you join all kinds of fraternities and groups across the globe, one day someone will tell you, listen, there is a way we do certain things and we have our results to show. Don't say it will not happen to me. Just shout mercy and ask God for grace. Because many, many people made noise like that and today they are nowhere to be found. As a man of God, I understand your fasting and prayer because you are trusting God for open doors. The territory has not accepted you and has not been open to your grace. So it is easy to be motivated by the reality of your pain to fast and pray. But what happens when you are enlarged? Listen carefully. Now you will respect Jabez for his prayer point. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, please give us from verse 13. It's a caution there because these were a people who were blessed. We're establishing the fourth point and then we'll pray. Deuteronomy chapter 8, my apologies, 8 from verse 13. Deuteronomy 8 from verse 13. 8. It says, when thy heart, in fact, it's verse 12 is where the emphasis starts. It said, beware. He's giving them a word of caution now. Lest when thou had eaten and you are full. Remember when the 5,000 minus women were hungry, they listened to Jesus. He said, sit down, they sat down. But when they ate bread, they wasted 12 baskets worth and woke up, no saying thank you, and they walked away. There is something about the human spirit when you are in the presence of abundance. There is something about the human spirit when you have options. It takes this prayer, lead us not into temptation. You're my hiding place, my safe refuge, my treasure, Lord, you are. My friend and king, anointed one, most holy. 
I will exalt you. I will exalt you. I will exalt you. You are my God. That you will keep me from evil. When you are eaten and are full, listen, South Africa, and you have built goodly houses and dwelt therein. We're reading to 18 very quickly. When your herds and your flocks multiply, when your silver and your gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up. This thing does not happen because you are bad. This thing happens because you are human. There are things that is not about good or bad. It is the side effect of carrying a mortal body. There has to be an immunity that you build through prayer, intelligent prayer. Preserve my heart. You know, I watch people with shock and wonder in ministry, in business, people who have not done much, sincerely speaking with every sense of humility. And I am surprised at the level of pride you know, your, your, your precious man of God. And many other people say, this man is humble. Humility for me is not a personality, it's a revelation. There is something God taught me that kept me in that state. I taught you yesterday that the anointing only fights what is against the will of God. But my Bible says God resisted the proud. So when God is fighting you, which anointing are you going to use to fight him? Do you cast him away? Do you rebuke him? Do you correct him? Ah. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the Lord. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. You want God to stand against the devil and the cohorts of darkness, not you. The Bible is full of people God anointed and still rejected. It was the same God that anointed Saul through Samuel. But he, he got to a point where Samuel, oh dear, it would have been, I mean Saul, it would have been thou son of Saul have mercy on me but Saul lost it and even though Samuel cried he said how long shall you weep seeing that I have rejected Saul as king hallelujah that your heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God which brought us thee thou from the land of Egypt from the house of bondage I'm, I'm, this is a warning that God is giving us because many of you after this conference you will marvel and wonder at the heights you will step in but hold on, hold on, hold on shout amen when I'm done teaching but hold on because you see there are many people who shouted amen just like you perhaps there are many people who sat down like this in prior conferences and grace came on them but with the coming of grace, they made the lifting of God look like a curse upon their lives. For some of them today, if they hear the name Jesus, when you say, let's go to... It's not just a decision. It's more than a decision. God will subject you through dealings to the end that you become and remain humble. That at the end, he may prove thee to do thee good at the latter end. I love 17. It says, and thou say in thy heart, that is the character of pride. My power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. South Africa, please hear me. Believers, hear me. Never get to a point where you are tempted either by the flattery of men or by the flattery of your own self to yourself to believe that it is by your power and your might. You get the glory. You get the praise. You, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. 
Lord, you get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life, in my life, be glorified, be glorified in my life over house of treasures, over South Africa, over every church and every business represented here. In a few minutes right now, we are going to be celebrating awesome miracles and the manifestations of the power of God. Doors will just open and close even by the Spirit. But let me tell you this. Many times, you know, I travel a lot and by the privilege of God's grace, at miracle services, when mighty things begin to happen, sometimes I can see people watching me with shock and wonder, asking, is this guy human? Is he this and that? And most times, I, I get so embarrassed, I have to stop and tell them, listen, let me tell you this. Look at me. This is all of me you are seeing. I was born. My mother and my father are both alive. I'm not some myth and legend, you know how we have it in our cultures where people fell from several places, others from trees, rocks on the ground, they came out of, I'm not like that. I'm not Zeus or Hermes, <laughs> you know. We are ordinary men who have been helped by God. And it's important that you know this. Yes. So when someone looks at you and says, you bought that mall? just like that don't beat your chest and tell them i've always told you i'm intelligent you don't play with me it's an error there are many men of god here you will contact grace you will contact strange levels of grace that you will find yourself moving in dimensions that you will be as surprised as those you are blessing make sure when that happens you don't beat your chest and brag and move around you see this is a word of caution I'm explaining to you this in my opinion is the most important part of Jabez's prayer. Remaining is greater than becoming. You can become in a moment but it takes skill to remain. Is someone learning? So man of God, by the time you go back to church tomorrow or any other day and you see the manifestation of God's spirit, and God begins to grant you access. And to someone who is watching, maybe this is the hindrance to your next level. This pride thing may not be immorality, may not be whatever, but pride. There are many people who think just because they are not victims of the flesh, it means they are free. No. Please listen to my message if you can find it, the purified church. The purified church. There are many things that we need to be purged and delivered from. If you want God to do business with you, especially in this end time, pride is a killer. The only sin that the Bible says God himself is the one who will fight you. When both God and Satan are fighting you, you are in trouble. Because even when God forgives you, he will take his mercy again. The devil is determined to continue. Eighteen. But thou There's someone I'm seeing. I'm about to pray for the sick now. But you have a lump at the, li the right side of your breast. The power of God is coming on you now. Right now. The right side. The right side. It is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. Help her please. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. No, don't worry, that, that's all right. Let there be a healing, complete healing. Samantha, I don't know what is wrong with you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you healing. 
even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural healing for you and your family. The Lord is showing me someone, you are following this program from Canada. From Canada, please help her. From Canada, your mother is sick. You are following this program right now. From Canada, your mother is sick on the bed. In the name of Jesus, we declare she will not die. Let the healing power of Jesus rest upon her right now. From Canada, you are a woman, you are watching, you are seated on a couch. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of you who are here, let the power of God touch you. Healing, healing for you. In Jesus' name. Now, please lay your hands anywhere you are trusting God for healing. Just make contact with that part of your body right now very quickly. We have to work with time. I want to pray for the sick now. Those in the overflows, make sure you participate. Those standing outside, you may be outside, but let me tell you, the power of God can touch you right where you are. Lay your hands, everyone who is trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And you can stand in for someone, by the way. You can stand in for someone. You can stand in for someone. I'm about to pray. Now here's what will happen. As soon as I begin to rebuke that spirit and minister healing, the power of God is going to come on you and I want you to check yourself. I'm going to give you an opportunity. Some of you, even whilst you were under the power of God, right now, there are all kinds of situations that have gone. For those people who have been healed, we are going to give you an opportunity to stand either by my right, far right or far left and we'll have you testify to the glory of God. So be ready to come out if and when we ask you to. It will be very fast. We may not be able to take everybody because I need to prophesy. And make sure you get ready with your prayer requests. Shortly, I'm going to be asking the ushers to receive all the prayer requests. If you're also standing for someone, make sure that um, whether it's the photo or any point of contact, you can also lift it up while I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, shout a loud amen, please. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I command every devil of infirmity by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The spirits that are behind any sickness, any disease. In the name of Jesus, I command that you give way now. I command that you give way now. I command that you give way now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Be healed now. Every blind eye here, whether completely blind or partially blind, I command it to be opened now. Deaf ears be opened now. Blood conditions be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. Every growth and every lump within and around your body, I cause that it dies now. weakness in the body severe pain and weakness in the body I command life and healing for you now peptic ulcer be healed now all blood conditions HIV be healed now in the name of Jesus Sugar diabetes, be healed now. The Lord is showing me someone, I don't know what happened to you, but you don't smell, is it that you don't smell completely or you don't smell very well? The power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, I don't know if you are here or you have a loved one, 
but I'm seeing God heal someone of kidney stones in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus help them please in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that devil of kidney His appendicitis be healed now. Lower back pain be healed now. I'm hearing the word sinuses be healed now. There's someone the Lord is showing me a woman. You are suffering from what we call dementia. A woman, I don't know whether she's here or maybe someone's mother, but I'm, I'm seeing a woman in my vision. Wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Please help them. Be healed now. I prayed for people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb yesterday but the Lord is showing me a very unique case I'm seeing a lady you take in but it never stays more than three months you will have a dream and in that dream the moment you have that dream a few days afterwards you will bleed and that's the end of it this has been recurrent 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 I don't know where that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead that demonic interruption to your conception I curse it from your life forever Amen. hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone you lost your job in January January you lost your job and since that time up until now you have not been able to get a stable job this year has been a very rough year for you I want to pray for you whether you are inside or outside you don't have to come because of our time but in the name of Jesus you have the faith to believe in 90 days from now like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now may my God give you a job that will surprise you why are they here Okay, just lay your hands. Don't worry, you don't have to come out except I ask you to. But since you are out, how long has this been? Don't cry. To two years. You believe that Jesus is able to heal you? Oh dear. You know, the healing ministry is predicated on compassion. You have to love people sincerely to be trusted with the anointing to heal. Are we together now? It's not just a desire for power. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He was in every way tempted like us, yet without sin. Look at this precious lady crying. You know, you have to be in that position to feel what people feel when they go through the things that they go through. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare this demonic thing, I command it to give way now. That you let this woman go free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Like Jesus rebuked the Spirit, I declare, Woman, thou art loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, darling, why is she here? Oh, you lost your job. Oh, that's fine. I'll pray for you. You, don't, you didn't have to come out, but then I'll pray for you. What were you doing? Uh, I was working as a supervisor. As a what? As a supervisor. In the, in the pastor. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift her. Lift her and surprise her. You are the lifter of men. And I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ that supernaturally God will give you a nobler job in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm still praying. Why are they here? Please don't come out at random. The officials are here to help us so that there's order. Why, why are they here? The baby has what? Okay, so don't just, don't just ask. I pray, I pray for them while they are there. And so once they are healed and they are coming out, then 
if we allow everybody to come, this place will be rowdy. You understand? So all the officials, you help. But let me at least lay hands on the child so to honor their faith. Please come. Let me just lay hands on you. Is it you or the child? The child? In the name of Jesus. Beautiful baby. What's her name? Huh? You gave her my name? Incredible. Can you imagine? Baby, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Do you know the meaning of my name? My name means the way to love. May the Lord bless you. And in Jesus' name, may the Lord himself perfect this beautiful one. In Jesus' name, you are the father? Okay. In the name of Jesus, so they can return. Huh? I'm still praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, whether I mention your case or not, every long-standing health issue right now, it bows to the name of Jesus Christ. There, there is a lady literally here, you have what the Bible calls the issue of blood. The issue of blood. This has embarrassed you. It's, you've lost energy and vitality. I'm praying for you right now. That hemorrhage, that demonic thing stops now. As I pray for you, you'll go to the restroom and check yourself. You'll find out that the power of God has touched you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's someone I'm seeing, you cannot bend properly because there's severe pain around your lower back area. In the name of Jesus, I am praying right now, the power of God is touching you. Touching you supernaturally. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. And for someone, you're feeling severe heaviness, severe heaviness on your body. In the name of Jesus, I command that demonic thing to leave you now. Help her, please. That demonic thing, it leaves now. Now, be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 I just saw light like an arrow just shot this direction. It's coming on someone. I just saw light. I don't know what it's for. But in the name of Jesus, that's what I just saw. I just saw light. Light at his brilliance. Just shot that direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the word is quick and powerful. I pray. Whatever the word has been sent to accomplish in your life, we give it speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, I want you to check yourself whether those who are under the anointing, those who are outside, the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, check yourself, do what you could not do. Be very bold about it. The moment you find out that there's a miracle, I want you to rush and come and stand in front right now. We are going to take a few testimonies. My God, people are already coming out. Look what Jesus is doing. South Africa. Check yourself. Let's, let's, just, let's just have them come very quickly. Leave your seat and come. Let's, let's wait until we have a few. Are you seeing the power of God touch people here? Give Jesus praise. Check yourself. Check your eyes. Check your limbs. You couldn't do this. Look at me. I'm seeing light on you. You believe in the power of God? I do. What's your name? Daphne. Give me your crutch. Walk. Walk. Turn and walk back. Look at this. Are you celebrating the hand of God? What happened to you? What happened to you? I got sick last year and then this year, a month back, I got... What is your luck. name? My name is Daphne. From where? From Cosmo City. Where is that? Johannesburg. Johannesburg, okay. 
And then I got paralyzed from here. You got paralyzed from waist downwards. Yes. And right now. And then uh, that's when I started struggling with moving. Oh and my God. Even when I was here, I still had the pain. And right now. Right now it's let the devil see what Jesus has done. Come on. Come on now. Listen, listen, when God does things like this, I will remind you again, it is not so much about a man who is powerful, it is about a God who is loving. Yes, sir. Imagine what will happen to this lady as she goes back home. You came to church with this, you go back home running and limping and giving Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Yes, let's have another testimony. My baby had a stroke. Is this and not the little girl that I prayed for? Yes, but she we, okay. we have a testimony. Okay. She she stopped walking, she stopped talking. I, I pray that you can help us a, a bit with the sound volume, please, our technical people. Okay, yes. My baby had a stroke and was diagnosed. Uh, she had a sickle cell anemia. And she, she stopped talking and she stopped walking. And for her to eat, I need help from someone else. But now she can't eat without help anymore. How long was this? How long was this? She, she has been sick since March this year. Oh, dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord God of heaven perfect this, our precious daughter. He started the miracle. He will perfect it in Jesus' Sir. name. Amen and amen. Very quickly. Yes, please. I've been having a pain on my right hand side. And I thought maybe it's for, I'm aging. Okay. So, I'm just healed right now. Completely. Walk. Check yourself. Any pain? Healing rain is Look at this. Look at this. Down. It's gone completely. I'm not afraid. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed completely, perfected by the power of God. Yes, please. I Mama, was, what happened to you? I was done an um, operation at the back, lumbar spine. You had a, come again? An operation. An operation? Yes, at the back. At the back? Yes. For how long? My, in, in 2019. Yes. Yes, and I'm feeling severe pain. I was just feeling the severe yes. pain. Yes. And I can't walk straight. You can't walk straight. No. But right now. I have to bend. You have to bend to yes. walk. Please show us how you used to walk. This was how you used to walk. And now. Walk. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, house of treasures. Look at this. Hallelujah. Healing rain is bend. falling down. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection for you, Mama. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Oh, we don't have another mic, so we just rotate it. So let's, we've taken a few. Can we try one or two here? Um, I, I wish that we had someone else so that would... Okay, yes, please. Your name and what happened to you very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Jane. I, I wish there was I a way they Mark. could, um, in testifying, at least so that people would, would see them facing me. Yeah, something like that. God bless you. Yes, go ahead. I came with stomach um, issues, uh, bowel movement. and uh, Bowel movement. For how long? Uh, it's been for a while now. Two, um, maybe four, five months. Okay. So and right now, I what came, happened to you? Right now, I fell down and this person at the aisle, left or right, and then please collate it very quickly and bring it up here. For those in the overflows and those standing outside, I plead with the officials to help us coordinate these ones. Let's do it very, very fast. May the Lord bless you, darling, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Very quickly, the next person. Who's with the mic? Okay. My name is Muzuki. I came with knee problems, both knees. Knee problems. I could not bend. You couldn't I, bend. I, I walked okay, so do what, you could, do what you couldn't do right now, Mama. Look at this. You couldn't do this. 
Are you celebrating miracles, my God? Hallelujah. Totally healed. Totally healed. How long was this? It happened on the 25th of September on my birthday. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Yeah. Bless the Lord very quickly. My name is Tumi from Botswana. Okay, go ahead. The beginning of this month. Tidal talks again. Like Look at me. You believe in the blessing of the Lord. Hold my hands. Father, increase this lady. Turn her life around. Every financial struggle comes to an end by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear what happened to our father. I've been interested in this man's testimony. What, what happened, sir? I, I've had two snake bites, one in 1946, another one in 1955. I've had two brain operations, and uh, my left ear is totally deaf from that operation, and I've, I've had a number of problems with my health. Uh, I can't hear now with my left ear. Uh, what happened to you? Uh, I, I developed a tumor, seemingly from those snake bites, and then uh, after some time, I had to undergo two brain operations. Yes. And my left ear doesn't hear. This one still hears. Now, I, I'm somewhat uh, uncomfortable with it because sometimes if I'm sleeping this way, I can't even hear anything. Oh, I understand. You are coming out to be prayed for. Ah, okay. I'll just pray for you, well. Huh? In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy. I thought he was testifying. Two brain operations. Can you lay your hands on your head, sir? In Jesus' name, I pray for you. And I also pray over this pain. I rebuke it and I declare the healing power of Jesus to rest upon you. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless you, Baba. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, dear. Two brain operations, two snake bites. Yes. Our straight to the point, straight to the point, so we walk with time. Someone that have a, a lump in the breast, then when he prayed, for the past two years, my breasts have been painful. Even since yesterday was so painful. Yes. So whenever I come, I always have to clean. But today, immediately you mentioned it, I touched it. The, the pain is gone again. completely. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. sugar and the whole body was sick come with it my dear the again, ladies, just just come with it here again my, my my son I took him to the rehab and now he started again to take that drugs I've got the problem I'm in my family sure, I'm not sure I got what you were trying to say your son is having drugs Yes, I we took him to the to the rehab. You were rehab, and okay. Yes. Now he started again. Okay, it, that's that's fine. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit. Go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Man of God, my name is Zanele. I had fibroids. I had big pain. I couldn't I couldn't bend. You couldn't bend? of the back pain. They say the fibroids were too big. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this miracle that has happened to you remains permanent. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release the anointing upon you. Now, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Let's see if we can take um, maybe just two, two more, and then I will just bless the remaining. My sincere apologies, my God. My name is Ivadi. I know that many of you would want to testify, but we'll have to work with time. Here's what will happen. For those who cannot testify now, you can always write. I'm sure that's, that's possible, huh? that you can be given an opportunity in church to just um, have your testimony. Yes, go ahead. My name is Eva. I couldn't bend. I had back problems. You couldn't bend. Bend now. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Completely. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. You are perfected forever. Yes. My name is Ben Jordan Su. Uh, when I was playing soccer, I had a problem with my ankle. Yes, yeah, so I couldn't do like this. 
So, but right now, do it when now. You, when you were praying, when you were praying, I feel something moving in Completely. my leg. Right now, I is healed. Now, okay, let's let's take one or two more. And okay, then. my name is Kosi. I started to come to attend the conference that was on Thursday, but unfortunately, by the grace of God, I want to thank Him because. By the time I was coming here, I couldn't see properly. But I said, Lord, I'm driving to that conference. Coming back, I'll receive my healing. Yesterday, when after the service, that is when Pastor was declaring that when we are going back home, we shall never experience accident. I couldn't see. It was dark. But through the prayer, that is when I said, God, I'm going to arrive at home. This morning, when I come to church again, that thing, it came back. When I enter the church, it was dark. I couldn't see Pastor when he was standing on the altar. But by the grace of God, Immediately when he started to testify about the scripture of Second Chronicles, that is when I received my total deliverance in the wow. name of Jesus. In Jesus Amen. Christ. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Lord, my love God. My name is, is Tiambisa. I was suffering from delay for 38 years. When the word came, I fell under the power there. And then also I couldn't see for from 2010. So from 2010, I, yes. you couldn't see without that. Yes. I'm and now you can see yes. very clearly. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, my sincere apologies. Um, we may not be able to allow everybody for the sake of time. I hope you understand. But church, let's stretch our hands towards these people and declare that that which God has done in their life, that it remains permanent. And for those who have been healed online, is someone praying? Declare over their lives that in the name of Jesus, the various miracles they have received. This is only a fraction of the many, many things that God has done and is doing in our midst. We are grateful for this and we decree and declare that these miracles remain permanent. Even by the spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name I pray. My dear, look at me. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands. Let's pray over these requests. If you can stand, may I request that you stand as we pray. If you can stand, may I please request that you stand as we pray. Second Kings chapter 19, please, and verse 14. Second Kings 19 and verse 14. King Hezekiah was threatened by three kings. They came together mocking his God. And they were speaking negatively about the God of heaven. And the Bible says there was a threat letter. Look up please. There was a threat letter that was written to the king. Prepare, we are coming to destroy you and to destroy your kingdom. The Bible says, and Hezekiah received the letter of the hands of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. That everything that threatened the king, he took it before the Lord. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. If you are yet to submit yours, do it quickly. We are praying right now. In one minute, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards me and begin to declare. That in the name of Jesus, I receive answers to this prayer. Go ahead. You will marvel and wonder at what the God of heaven does. I will bow my knees. You don't kneel. You just stretch your hands. Everyone following online across the globe. And in this place now, if there are still more, please bring them very quickly. Someone pray.
negative situation around. In the name of Jesus, shout a louder amen. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I stand in faith with the angel over this house and we decree and declare, these Egyptians that you have seen today, South Africa, hear me, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Please hear me. Every demonic force that is behind the challenges written here, I banish them from your life forever. Number two, every human agent who must come into partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for the release of answers will compel their ministry over your life as touching these issues. In the name of Jesus Christ, Prophetically, I stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you to cause you pain, I bring it under your feet now. I bring it under your feet now. The prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Therefore, I declare, South Africa, house of treasures, Every businessman, every man of God, every captain of industry, I decree and declare, let the blessing of the Lord rest on you now. Above and beyond any curse, above and beyond any satanic manipulation, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Blessed in the morning, blessed in the afternoon, blessed in the evening. Blessed in the city, blessed in the country, in the name of Jesus. And enlarge my coast. The Bible says, and he measured a thousand cubits in the name of Jesus. Listen carefully. I want to pray for you. First spiritually, then financially. Then territorially, I command be enlarged, be enlarged, be enlarged, be enlarged, increase, advance, make progress, be enlarged, house of treasures, South Africa, be enlarged in the name of Jesus Christ. And that your hand will rest upon me. When the hand of God comes upon you, it means speed. When the hand of God comes upon you, it means power and capacity. When the hand of God comes upon you, it means the engracing for possibilities. Therefore, I call upon my God who is also your God. May that mighty hand rest upon you now. May the power of God come upon you now to do exploits for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, and that you will be kept from evil and that it will not hurt you. Did your Bible not say the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the discerning grace and even the keeping grace work together to protect you from evil. He said, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him even against that day. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the devil will not have a chance over your life. Evil will not have a chance over your life. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Let me prophesy to you. Listen, 
there is a grace that can lift a man above his contemporaries not from a competitive standpoint he says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren he said Esther obtained favor from the king and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins that more than grace that grace that can lift you more than receive it in the name of ministry laboring and serving the purposes of God I know that your nation like ever gone through and is going through all kinds of transitions. My first prayer for you is that God will keep you pure. In the name of Jesus Christ. That you will be a pure breed indeed. All the appetites of the flesh that distract the purity of your call. I declare may they be far from your life. Then I pray for you. Experience a strange order of numerical growth. A strange order of financial growth I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ help that man please that every altar and every pulpit will be set on fire for Jesus we pray for the spirit of the evangelistic the pastoral the apostolic and the prophetic every dimension you have been called in right now I stretch my hands the grace and the mantle you need men of God now take that fire 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 prophetic fire I empower you by the spirit prophetic wells everyone called into the prophetic ministry the apostolic ministry I impart grace upon you the spirit of revelation may it come upon you right now the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for those in business in addition to the value that you provide in addition to the products and the services that you package and you sell to your targeted consumer base you will need the prophetic you will need the backing of heaven therefore I pray for every businessman in the name of Jesus because the Lord is your shepherd I prophesy that you shall not want find favor with the powers that be find favor with systems and structures find favor with gatekeepers find favor with captains of industry i prophesy may my god increase you more and more i give your business visibility in the market space in the name of jesus christ listen the lord is bringing the church to a dimension where men will equal nations because of the blessing of the lord and the supply of the spirit may you be part of that army We're wrapping up. Let me pray for every family here in South Africa. How many of you know that if you are the only one who is saved, and if you are the only one who is doing well, you are still not free? He said, as for me and my house. There are many people here, your trouble is not sickness. Your trouble is not poverty. Your problem is your children. Are we together? Let me pray for you. Any family here that is yet to experience salvation, genuine salvation, transformation, having children that are not yet in order, having family members scattered, there is no peace, there is no joy and unity. Here at this conference, in the name of Jesus, we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, peace be still. To every storm in your family, peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Hear me. Let me pray for our children. The prodigal son said, the Bible says he came to himself and he said to himself, how many hired servants has my father 
and yet I am here feeding with the swine. He said, I will arise and I will go back to my father and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your servants. The most important thing is he came to himself. The grace that makes men come to themselves to realize what they are doing and to be converted for good. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon our children. South Africa, you will not lose your children. You will not lose your children to moral decadence. You will not lose your children to the corruption of the times. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're wrapping up. Hallelujah. I just felt stirred in my heart to do this. Apostle Felix and his precious wife, um, they love this ministry and this man has labored and continues to labor for the program of God. In one minute, right where you are, I want you to speak a prophetic word of prayer from the depth of your heart. Please speak it to this man and his dear wife. You love them sincerely as your pastor, as your father, whether you are a member of House of Treasures or not, go ahead and pray. Just right where they are. Pray for them. Pray for them. Lord, you will raise Aaron's and horse. Pray for them. Pray for them. That God will continue to use him mightily. He has been the force behind the, the rising of many the gates of hell will not prevail against him. Wisdom for him. Pray for house of treasures under his watch. It will only be from glory to glory. Is someone praying? The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is praying for his choice servant and his maid servant. You love your pastor. You love this man of God. Pray for him from the depth of your heart. Preserve him, O oh God. Keep him, O oh God. Anoint him, O oh God. Afresh with grace. Afresh with wisdom. Afresh with fire. Afresh with power. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two last functions and then I take my leave. Every time I travel to any nation... I believe that part of the apostolic responsibility is to stand in faith with those who are of faith and those who are in power, governmentally speaking, to pray over this nation. I truly love South Africa. It's true. Hallelujah. And please hear me. I believe in what God is doing in Africa. I believe in what God is doing in South Africa. Are we together now? Yes. In one minute, for every time God grants me the privilege to be here or anywhere around the soil of this nation, I will make my contributions and lend my voice to speak over your soil. Are we together? If you love South Africa, in one minute, just one minute, from the depth of your heart, let's lift up a cry as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ over South Africa. Go ahead and pray. Pray for your parliament. Pray for those in government. All the tears of government. If you are in politics here, we are praying for you. You are in government here, we are praying for you. Go ahead and pray. Right from the presidency to every region. Pray that the program of God over South Africa will not be thwarted, will not be aborted. Is someone praying? That your leaders will enact policies that will bring fairness and justice and equity to all. That every South African will be proud of being in this soil. Pray that this nation will not go down. It will only be from glory to glory to glory to glory. Mention the regions if you can remember them. Prophesy upon everyone in South Africa. Young, old, male, female. Pray for your politicians. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. 
For in Jesus' name I pray. Father, I lift up this as a prophetic sign over this beautiful nation of South Africa that you have so loved. South Africa, you will not go down. South Africa, you will not go down. South Africa, you will not go down. You will not go down. From the presidency to your house of parliament, we decree and declare everybody who should be there by God, we enthrone them prophetically. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we declare that this is a nation you will be proud of. This is a nation your children will be proud of. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that terrorism will never find its way to your soil. We declare that corruption is living and it's on its way out of South Africa. We declare that anything that represents injustice and inequity, let it be far from your borders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. My last and final assignment before I leave. Everyone stand. This is the final night of this conference. And I believe that there are people who have been here right from day one. There are others who are just coming. So many crowds of people outside. Let me tell you something about Jesus. The Bible says this about him. That he is the way, Jesus even speaking for himself. He called himself the way, the truth, and the life. Are we together? And then he says, no man cometh to the Father except by me. Everybody Jesus healed still died. Everybody who received a miracle from Jesus still passed on. There is one precious gift that sustains the power to be valid even after this life. It is the gift of the life of God through his son. You are not going to carry enlargement out of the earth. You are not going to carry prosperity out of the earth. It was Apostle Felix, I believe, or I think um, our uncle here who was talking to us about um, the late Queen Elizabeth. As powerful as that woman was when she died, her crown did not go with her. Her royal apparel did not go with her. It says, from dust thou art, and to dust thou shalt return. Please listen to me. This end time is a moment where everybody has to define his stand with Jesus. The issue of Jesus is no longer the issue of church or religion or some kind of religious comfort. There are many of you under the sound of my voice as you are listening to me. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now. That this is a chance that God is giving you to know Jesus, to love him and to receive of his life. To be called into a new experience. I'm going to make two altar calls in one. Number one, those who are saying, Apostle, if you will give me the chance, even if it is for one minute that is left, I will take advantage of it to make Jesus Lord of my life so that I can know that here at Ownership Conference 2022, among the many things I received, that I received Jesus, the Son of the living God. And number two, there are those who are saying, Apostle, my life is scattered. I do not even know. I don't even have a definition for my life and my destiny. I remember once making this call, coming to Jesus, but my life has gone haywire. And as it is right now, I cannot truly say that I am in Christ. Our time is fast spent. I have just one minute for this. If you are outside, sadly, you may not have the chance to come in. I'm not sure. But if you are not able to come in, you may just step forward either to the front of your screens or just the front wherever you are. But for those who are here and as many who can have a chance to join for as many that the space will allow, I'm going to count one to five. Listen, I want you to run, literally. Don't kneel for space. Come and stand before Jesus. This is my last night here with you for this year and for this moment. And I want you to come to Jesus. I begin my counting now. One. South Africa, is this how you celebrate salvation? Two.
three. My God, someone is coming to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Four. Please clear the way for those who are coming. There's still room at the cross for you. Come. Apostle, I need a new beginning with Jesus. Come. 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 Joining them, join quickly. And for those who are joining online, connect with us as we pray the prayer of salvation right now. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. I congratulate you. I'm standing here with the angel over this house and we are saying a big, big congratulations for the courage to come to Jesus. It's the wisest decision you can make under the sun. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head. And for those in the overflows, please do same. Those connecting online, whether from your home, your office, your church, or you are watching by way of rebroadcast, lift your hand. It's never too late to make it right with Jesus. Please say this after me. Mean it from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make Jesus the king of my destiny and I receive him as my personal savior. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God the righteousness of God in Christ. I go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now keep standing. Father, I join my faith with your servant and we declare the blessing of the Lord upon these ones. According to the integrity of your word, we declare their sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' name we pray. Now, very quickly, I presume there is a counselor there. I know that there are a number of you, but please just walk with me. I will request that you move to my left, which will be your right, there will be a few counselors who would receive you, just give you a few information, and then you hurry back to your seat. We're already wrapping up. Let's celebrate them as they go. May the Lord bless you. Go ahead. South Africa, give them a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Where is that, my precious friend, who gave me this? Thank you. For giving me the colt like jesus had the donkey may god bless you it will be for you from glory to glory in jesus name amen god bless you south africa i love you from the depth of my heart thank you for receiving me thank you for loving me and in the name of jesus you will go from glory to glory from grace to grace apostle felix thank you so very much god bless you and thank you many of you know that he has been a blessing to us you know just like he has prayed for us I believe in the prayer of the church 
The Bible says Peter was locked up in prison and prayer was offered by the church without season and an angel showed up. With this kind of mantle and graces that he carries, he meets our prayers. Can I hear an amen? I want you to stretch your hands towards God's servant and declare the word of the Lord over him that he will go from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from glory to glory. As he flies around the world, no man, no woman will bring him down. No devil will touch his life. He says as they went from nation to nation, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. We declare that the hand of the Lord come upon you stronger and stronger. Keep you from evil. That the Lord will bless your ministry. Enlarge your coast. The Lord will keep you on fire for himself. In the name of Jesus. That this revival fire that you carry will spread all over the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. God will preserve you. God will preserve your health. God will preserve your life. In the name of Jesus, everywhere you go, this mantle will be multiplied to thousands of people, millions of people. In the name of Jesus, you go from glory to glory. We as a nation, we as a church, we bless you, sir. We bless your destiny. We bless your life. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout amen. Shout amen. One more amen. Apostle, I stand on behalf of this people and this nation to say we love you. We truly, truly celebrate the grace of God. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kete katos. Kete branda kata pakotos koto pre kete kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.